Hello, dear aquarist. Today we have a nice uh, background. Well, there of nice carnal tetra and a show tank at one of the trade shows I attend. Well, this was a, a beautiful showcase because I'm going to talk today about a carnal tetra. Yes, carnal tetras are a very popular fish in our uh, industry and in the hobby. And of course, there are so many available. Of course, there are also many problems to report. So stay tuned and watch my video where I show the diseased fish, my macroscopic observations and my suggestions what you can do as a treatment. So I will share my screen with you. And we talk today about a bacterial infection, particularly in the gills. I will show you how that looks like. Well, first of all, I promote my books on fish diseases, also about carnal tetra, where I explain what you can do, how to diagnose, how to understand fish diseases and how to treat. And here we see the, the carnal tetra, which we took out of the aquarium. Some are very skinny and those are dying. This one is starting to get skinny in the coming days. He will, he will also be looking like this one here. And that's once we take out to do an examination. And we could find here in the gills, you see the black accumulation parts covering the lamellae, bad functioning of the gills. That's the problem that will arise. And internally, we also find a bunch of bacteria. So let's go in detail. And I show you the video here on the gills of the fish, all those black colonies and all the millions of bacteria in the black little dots swirling around, moving around into the water. So they are covering the healthy tissue and not allowing good respiration. Here we see more bacteria, different kinds of bacteria, little stag bacteria. Here are many bacteria here, all the black spots. We see one little organism moving here. Well, that might have been a flagellate, maybe a parasite, but if it's only one, it's not an infection. That is common in damaged tissue because here the tissue is damaged by the bacteria and then you can have some invaders, or not particularly parasites, but other little animals, that protozoa that move in to do that uh, affected tissue. And internally here, we in the abdomen, we found all different kinds of bacteria with rods, with spots, black spots, whitey spots, many different kinds of bacteria, which is causing, of course, an infection in the organs, not only in the gills, but also internally. So our conclusion was, well, we have to apply an antibacterial treatment as soon as possible. It can be an antibacterial drug you can get from the pet shop or an antibiotic you can ask from your vet or a fish doctor. Check the origin of the problem. It might be poor stocking, too many fish, like overcrowding, poor water quality, poor handling of the fish. And I would recommend to strengthen the immune system of the fish with a functional fish food like our Dr. Baslier, Baisher food, Fuco, or the grape food, uh, seed extract with Moringa, or the professional treats, so different kind of food that helps the fish to recover and to do better uh, in the coming days and weeks. Learn more about fish diseases in my books, like I said in the start. I conclude also with the recommendation. If you want to be a professional fish care keeper, go to my Patreon. There is an opportunity to become a uh, trained, to get a training as a fish doctor. So I hope this information on the sick cardinal help you to understand what kind cardinals can suffer from and what you can do and take as actions to keep them healthy in a better condition. Thank you for watching.